I think I've actually hit rock bottom with browsers because I've started keeping a list every single one of them I've ever used. Here's the thing, every single time I switch I secretly hope that maybe this one will stop the cycle. So when I heard about a relatively new browser called Helium, I had to ask myself, could this actually be the one? Welcome, this is Helium. Now you might be thinking, why not just use Firefox or Safari? I would have thought of that as well, but we all like Chrome and many of us are even forced to use it because school, work, a lot of people have to use Chrome. But before I even thought about this video idea, I came across this video by Theo and it kind of changed the uh, thinking inside my brain about how browsers operate. In that video, Theo did talk about Helium, but the one thing that actually was really surprising is that their whole kind of pitch that they're trying to convey to us is that the vertical space that it gives you on Helium is about 50% smaller than its competitors, which is amazing because people are trying to get as much vertical space and people don't really care about horizontal space, right? Furthermore, Helium, when I installed it, it automatically imported all my extensions and settings using something called a .crx file. Here's a bit of a <clears throat> technology lesson. Now a .crx file is basically a compressed package that contains everything needed for a Chromium based browser to work. Of course, I've never seen this in a browser before and it was the most seamless process I've ever seen. Especially if we compare it to when I switched from Brave to Arc, which was a nightmare because it felt like I was starting from scratch. Now to be fair, Helium might not be the best choice of course, there's not one browser that fits everyone, right? But it does lack in productivity focused features. However, there is a quick alternative I can tell you. Zen is an awesome browser built on Firefox. So when it comes to actually browsing, which is the one thing we do correct, Helium feels incredibly fast and it even includes one of the best extensions ever, uBlock Origin. Not the uBlock Origin Lite, but the full unlimited version of uBlock Origin because Chrome deleted it. Big win for Helium there. And honestly, if for anyone who already uses Chrome daily, switching to Helium is almost effortless. It feels just like Chrome, but significantly faster, cleaner and much more private. One last cool thing, Helium now has an unofficial version for Linux and Windows. However, when I say unofficial, I mean they're available through their GitHub page, but they don't have automatic updates yet like the Mac OS version does. Still, it's great to see the developers expanding to a lot more platforms. To wrap it up, if you want to give it a try, check out Helium's page, this is of course not sponsored, and see what you think for yourself. Who knows, maybe this time we'll both stick with it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.